you know it, it will be done. This monster bull cycle that is upon us is about to unleash chaos in the world. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly why that is unfolding as I do this video for you right now. Regardless of where the Bitcoin price is right now, I'm going to show you where we're at support, what we're going to do next and what that looks like for you, what you should potentially be doing. And if you want to know, then make sure to stay with me right to the very end. I'm going to compact as much information in this short video as I possibly can. Clearly, you and the community absolutely love bad news in the market because clearly look at the views on this video compared to the views on this video because i said massive bitcoin warning there is massive opportunity upon us millionaires are going to be made not even my old coins got that but clearly the community loves drama clearly you love drama i don't know about you but that did well and i appreciate you watching that video and i appreciate every single one of my beautiful community members and you watching this video especially thank you so much let's get cracking on here today with the news of course i have loads of stuff happening on twitter here for you i've been sharing quite a substantial amount of stuff so i hope you have been keeping up with me because actually at the moment we are in for a massive ride so let's go and tackle some of the news i have to share with you and then we'll go through some With you and then we'll go through some charts as always as usual today bitcoin breaks 18 month hash rate uptrend our btc miners capitulate we know about this already we know that after the halving usually miners capitulate and they then some have to sell some of them readjust and re uh kind of get their um their mining rigs back onto a profitable uh, turn after they've had the halving because obviously after halving your profit literally slices in half so miners have to do that and ever since that we've seen the drop from 71,100 to 66,000 that's a 5,000 drop okay call it a 10% drop that's not bad considering you know we've seen 33% drops in bitcoin previously now bitcoin's hash rate has been capitulating you can see we've been in a long uptrend since july last year and now we have been going sideways but that's because it's been the halving halving time is miner selling really what tanked bitcoin to 66k despite the drop in the hash rate mining firms haven't been sig selling significant amounts so no not really minor flows to cryptocurrency exchanges fell from a monthly peak of 15 to 15,500 to about 7,300 BTC, according to CryptoCoin. So in other words, they've been selling less too. Okay, but that's also because of the halving date. So they have around half to sell. So not much selling pressure at all. If I had to take that and chop that in half, not much selling pressure at all, right? Maybe a couple hundred Bitcoin at the very most, which is really not that money, much. But the older ASIC miners are shutting down because it is no longer profitable to mine with the ASIC miners. Now, the hash rate has fallen to about 586,377 THSs on the 12th of June. Okay, according to blockchain data, you can see that, which is still not bad because the model forecasts the hash rate to uh, rising to 700,000 exa hash rate by 2025, which might I add is only a very short six months away. Okay, so it could fall up to 10% as miners turn off the assets, which is exactly what's happened. Bitcoin has fallen 10%, which is not bad at all. Now, three reasons why Bitcoin uh, 65k marks the bottom for Bitcoin. I've showed you this and I will show you this in my charts too myself. Reason number one is Washington is slowly turning towards a more favorable, uh, turning more favorable towards crypto. Not only that, 
the Federal Reserve will soon reverse its tighter monetary policy. Okay, in other words, it's going to slash interest rates and turn on the money printer. And the third reason is Bitcoin derivatives actually displayed resilience despite the 8% drop. That is mad if the derivatives are doing that. So if you would like to trade derivatives, come and trade them over at Bybit with me. You can use my link down below, pinned in the comments right there for you. And you can get yourself up to a $30,000 deposit bonus to come and trade with me and make some killer ass profit. Now this account is the account that I use for the channel to show my crypto audience how you can go from small to large in the instance of my Bitcoin trade. And yes, I've taken profits, but my Bitcoin trade, essentially the position margin is 33 cents in this trade, but yet my trade is up $150. So that's awesome, isn't it? And the same thing with Ethereum and the same thing with Casper, except I've used more money there. And that's also a very, very strong uh, DGN trade in Bitcoin right now. And I'm doing that because I showed you guys why. I don't think we're going to come below this Bitcoin level. Yes, we've got one, two, three, four tops um, essentially at this area. But is that relevant for us right now? Not quite, especially because we are bouncing off of this very, very, very long, 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 long term uh, support here along this line so you can see since there we have hit a touch uh we hit a touch touch and now we're touching that one once again but we'll carry on on this chart in a little moment let's move on so even though the fed is going to possibly turn the monkey printers on there are other things happening around the world starting with australian securities exchange okay approves its first spot bitcoin etf um and the e the Australian Securities Exchange has approved the Van Eck Bitcoin ETF to start trading on the 20th of June. That's in the next five days. And uh, that is going to allow a lot of Australian money into the ETF. How freaking awesome. And the investment issuer will have a ticker called VBTC, in, um, which is amazing. And their ticker in... In America is called HODL, which I actually I think is that's personally my favorite ticker out of all of them. HODL. Like what a great ticker to use. Um and now every time somebody says a HODL, you know, they're gonna think that it's that, but it's not really. So Van X states here, we recognize Bitcoin is an emerging asset class that may uh, that many advisors and investors want to access. VBTC also makes Bitcoin more accessible by managing all the back-end complexity, understanding the technical aspects of acquiring, storing, and securing digital assets, and is no longer necessary, in other words. So, here is what the Australian Bitcoin ETF, IBTC, has accumulated. 46 Bitcoin since its launch, which was on the 4th of June. So, cool. In 10 days, they've accumulated 46 Bitcoin. That's pretty awesome, I must say. So you can see that from there, they've pretty much tripled their stack in Bitcoin. Wait till you see what. <sighs> Wait till you see what actually happens going forward from there, because there is an amazing amount of energy about to come. Because not only is the Bitcoin or the Bitcoin ETFs being approved across the world, but the spot Ethereum ETF may begin trading by the 2nd of July, according to Bloomberg Analyst. We're going to have a look at this because this is one of our favorite analysts in the space, Mr. Eric Boltunas. So, but it is a guess of now. So just let's just walk right down. So clarifying on details, Genza said over the course of this summer and Haggerty said by the end of the summer. Gensler, I would envision sometime over the course of the summer. And basically, what Gensler was saying is, is probably around in the next three months, in other words. So it makes sense. And what I heard is that issuers still waiting to get comments from Corpfin 
on S1, which they have handed in two weeks ago. Corpfin is just looking at these docs for the first time. Why? Because of the highly likely political last minute 180. Remember, they were as surprised by this as anyone else. Unclear if they're prioritizing this work, but either way could be a bit. May need to push back my uh, July 4th out, but we'll see. So the SEC Gary Gensler provided a broader time frame and he gave the answer of within the next three months. So we have no freaking clue. I heard it was coming now, like it should have been launched probably yesterday on the 14th of June. That kind of didn't get announced, so it got moved over to a more broader of the three month time frame. So another three reasons why Bitcoin analysts believe BTC recovery is way long overdue. And I'm going to show you some of the stuff going through some of my charts using some of the technical signals that I use to trade. And if you want to know more about that, well, you should be with me on my channel right there, hitting that notification bell so that you know when I do cool videos like this for you. Because clearly, and I appreciate it, my crew loved my video over there. So thank you for that. Now, as you can see here, Right now, BTC is sideways. It is chopping sideways. If you didn't see that, go watch this video here yesterday. I'll leave it in the card above for you. And um, the Bitcoin's price holds above key support area. So Bitcoin has successfully retested the black mid range as support 66K on the recent pullback. Any downside volatility, any downside volatility below black is actually a bonus territory so there's the black line there okay this horizontal black line over here we're undoubtedly and absolutely and definitely below that level right now and i'll show you on the charts but as he said it is a bonus territory so in 2012 2017 2020 this was the start signal for the most euphoric time in crypto boom Boom! Boom! Once we got on the black line, we then made the new level up. So I'm not sure what ticker that is. MZBTC bottom. Okay, we'll have a look and we'll see if we can see that. But we're talking about volatility indicator here. Okay, above the EM820 line, it's always been bullish so far. Also, high crowd buying interest backs Bitcoin's potential upside. Interest in Bitcoin's surges while selling interest stays dormant after a dip to 66.6K. Crowd is very quiet in terms of sell interest, okay? So there's more buy interest than there is sell interest. The fear and greed index is still pretty high. There is declining Bitcoin balances on exchanges. Now, I want to go and share something with you, my beautiful community, that actually... I've been showing you data, Eric Balchuna, some other the crypto YouTubers have been showing you data on videos that, is, that essentially shows us that um, all of the ETF purchases versus the, versus the crypto mining purchases. So ETF purchases on average kind of like range between seven and a half to twelve and a half thousand BTC per day accumulation versus 450 being mined every day so you can see that there's a supply demand there's a supply shock happening right now okay because there's not enough supply from the miners to give to the buyers or the the um etfs now yes the etfs may have more money but there is more institutions that haven't yet got into the like, like ubs morgan stan a number of others that haven't actually got into Bitcoin ETFs just yet and are waiting for like that six month mark before they start to actually get anything in. Now, not only that, we also have yet to see most of retail, not you and I watching this video because we're still early right now in comparison to what we are going to see the retailers essentially buying the top of the markets as they always do. The retailers always buy the tops of the market. So thankfully you are with me on this channel and you are not part of that because I have been sharing with all of my 1,760 subscribers on my channel 
for more than four and a half years now that Bitcoin continues to go up. So I just want to share with you, I'm going to just plop this on the weekly chart. Four and a half years ago. Okay, four and a half years ago was around this area here. This was my area of entry into crypto right here. So as you can see that even though I've experienced massive dips, I, I have been buying crypto up here, down here, Bitcoin up here, just like Mr. Michael Saylor has been splatting his Bitcoin purchases, whether it's at the top or the bottom, it's irrelevant. I have been accumulating Bitcoin at the top, at the bottom. It doesn't matter for me too. I have been doing the same thing because that's the purpose of Bitcoin. However, I have certainly been accumulating a ton of altcoins as well. Because even if we're here right now, we're busy testing this upward slope here right now on the alt. Right now, I believe we're about to get one, two and third bottom here on this chart. And I believe we're about to get the massive explosion once the Ethereum ETF is possibly launched within the next three months. So for me, we could sit sideways here for another three months and I wouldn't have an issue. That would equal this to there. But guess what? That would equal very likely the move from this side to the next three months, taking that and pulling that to the upside, essentially giving us the potential target that we could see coming out of this bull cycle. I don't know if that's going to be absolutely accurate, but what I do know is that there is a ton of money about to come into the market. Now, according to the veteran trader Peter Brunt, who issues a Bitcoin alert and says BTC is flashing a bearish signal, here is his targets. Well, bump, bump, slump, bump, bump. Pattern consists of an initial increase in price, a bump that indicates bullish momentum, the bump in price is followed by a hump, which consists of a consolidation phase and then followed by a slump, which denotes a price decline. A slump proceeds with another bump, which in turn gives a rise to a dump. So he's saying bump, hump, slump, bump, dump, pump, dump, dump, pump. So he isn't really bullish, uh, uh, bearish, but isn't really bearish, but essentially, while the data only uh, points to a few past cycles measured on percentage gains, have how uh, have decayed essentially. So, 82% of the power of 2010, 2011, 79% uh, of the 2011, 13, 82% of the 2017, and if decay continues, advance may. Uh, 22 to 24 advance may be complete. I don't think so. I just, what do you think? Do you think BTC is bearish right now? Sitting at current all time highs when we also have a buy signal here. We getting ready to break out. All of the signals are turning. We're at the top of the cup and handle pattern. We're above the previous all time high of last cycle. Okay, finding support on that. And here's some scary shit, guys, because I've shown you so many times about JP Morgan. JP Morgan is just a fraud, okay? Mr. Mr. Man. Okay, I'm not even going to call him out. It's a waste of the energy. But the US government has also now seized 5.25 million in JP Morgan Chase bank accounts with alleged funds stolen sophisticated schemes. So, I don't know about you, but I don't trust the banks anymore. And our altcoins are on the cusp of a turnaround after massively underperforming, says crypto analyst. And here's what the timeline is. We'll talk about that in a moment. But Jamie Coots, Real Vision Chief Crypto Analyst, Jamie Coots tells his followers um, that this is about to happen. So most crypto funds are overweight alts and not having as much fun as they would like. Despite having a cracking six month Q4 23 to Q1 24, Despite ETH's recent outperformance, there's been no follow through. Top chart, uh, and the SCP, SCP sector continues to lag behind Bitcoin. The altcoin index bottom confirms this trend, heading lower with 18% of the top 100 assets, in excluding stables, outperforming BTC. 
I still believe a turnaround will happen in the second half of the year, sooner rather than later, as liquidity at the margins in starting, um, is starting to improve recent central bank, bank cuts. So this is what's busy happening, okay? We're seeing right now that we're getting ready to have massive liquidity crunch here. And you can see here, once we hit the bottom, it pumped. Bottom, pump. Bottom, pump. Bottom, pump. Even though these are small pumps, I believe that we are definitely, definitely about to get an amazing uh, return. So this is the breakdown of the three month sector returns from my crypto classification framework. So smart contracts have done 31 and a half percent infrastructure, 43 digital world assets, 44 digital currency, 31 DeFi, 31 and applications, 38 BTC and ETH have held up 11, uh, 11 percent and 5 percent respectively. If this is a regular mid cycle correction we are experiencing, which I believe is very likely, then expect some opportunities to be had in the mid and small caps once the market settles. The, top, the blue line is the top 200 market cap rebalance and the green line is the top 200 uh, equal weight rebalance. Okay, so oof, we are very bullish right now. Investment firm Paradigm raises $850 million for venture fund targeting early stage crypto projects. I don't even think I need to read anything else to you other than the headline. Not only that, but MicroStrategy announces a plan to raise another $500 million in new debt to buy more Bitcoin. Okay, this is busy happening. Not only that, but actually his, uh, his increases have actually gone up to 700 million. And we'll take a look at that in a short little moment. But um, uh, Bra we spoke about this the other day, but Brazil's biggest bank, Itao Unibanco, launches Bitcoin uh, trading to all customers. It has 60 million customers in Latin America. Wow. Trump says all Bitcoin mining should be done in the US, as we know. Um, the Australia largest bank just put the Bitcoin ETF IBTC onto its trading platform. Commonwealth Bank of Australia has 17 million customers. So 17 million plus 60 million. You see where we're going? We're going to start getting close to that billion number of access to clients. Now, this is very funny because Joe Biden's campaign is considering accepting Bitcoin and crypto donations. Well, guess what? The next few days, he actually did it. So we just spoke about Michael Saylor. Not only that, but you can see here that Russians are waiting in very long lines at currency exchange points as they are worried about the collapse in currency value. Do you think this can't happen where you look? Well, have a look. These people are accumulating Bitcoin and crypto. So I don't know about you, but they're standing in lines to get their piece of the pie because they know that their currency is being blown up and devaluated. And so are most of the currencies all around the world, including the dollar, the biggest traded crypto uh, fiat money in the world. So and all found an old Bitcoin miner from the 1400s that's still running. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think this is awesome. And that's because it's time and energy based. That's all Bitcoin is. It's really all it is. GameStop is buying $4 billion Bitcoin with its cash reserves, uh, which could push the stock up to $1,000, according to Max Kaiser. That's 34x higher than the current price of $29. Imagine the shorts getting wrecked. Now, here is the a post from Vivek. If you think the GME should convert 4 billion cash into Bitcoin immediately, I agree. I would love to say that. Um, and Roaring Kitty ended up buying a couple, 4 million as well of the, the stock too of GME. So it is what it is. Joe Biden finally says that he will accept Bitcoin uh, crypto donations. But oh, you're a little too late to the party because Trump is already accepting cryptocurrency donations. So here is the micro strategy, 700 million to buy more Bitcoin. Okay, 700 million. That means he's about to buy another. The cryptocurrency market cap is at two and a half. Sure, uh, it's taken a beating out there today, but it don't matter because it's never been a better opportunity to buy and accumulate Bitcoin right now. Now, now, now. Okay, so 700. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, oh, there you go. 
That's another 10,500 Bitcoin. Well, I just told you earlier on that there are only 450 being produced daily. So if this is for one company, I don't know what to say to you, but this supply, the circulating supply is diminishing fast, 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 insanely fast. Okay, let's move on from here. Because breaking Deutsche Telekom T-Mobile is going to start Bitcoin mining. They're already running a uh, Bitcoin node. And the last thing is that El Salvador is to set up a Bitcoin bank to give investors finance options. Guys, the Oscars. Now, not only that, them, them, the powers that be. Bitcoin is a pyramid scheme. Well, check the US dollar out. Anut Conceptis Novos Ordo Seclorum. In other words, the Great Seal, we own you. We own you, the eye, the third eye, the eye of Horus. Okay, go do your research. But this is insane because they are a pyramid scheme. The dollar is a pyramid scheme and there is higher um, uh, um, powers that be that control the system. So, Michael Saylor's 21 Rules of Bitcoin. I'd love to read this to you. And before I do that, I hope you, my friend, are enjoying this. If you are and are not yet subscribed, I would have truly appreciate it. You can bump these numbers up here. That would be magnificent. So let's go and check out. One, those who understand Bitcoin buy Bitcoin. Two, everyone is against Bitcoin before they are for it. Three, you know that you grasp Bitcoin when you know you'll never fully understand Bitcoin. Four, Bitcoin is powered by chaos. Five, Bitcoin won't perfect you if you don't wear the armor. Bitcoin is one is the one thing in the universe that you can truly own. Everyone gets Bitcoin at the price they deserve. Only buy Bitcoin with the money you can't afford to lose. Tickets to escape the matrix are priced in Bitcoin. Bitcoin insights. It, so I've told you before, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm a conspiracy factualist. And Mr. Michael Saylor, this is one of his rules. And ironically, it's at number nine. And if we look at the universal law code and Nikola Tesla, three sixes and nines, nine is generally the end of a cycle. So this is very likely coming to the end of the, the dollar and fiat money. And phew, money is digital. It's been digital for a long time. So Bitcoin is just replacing the let's punch some numbers in on a computer and do whatever we want buy print the bonds sell them overseas and then print more money to buy back the bonds with your own debts how can you do that i can't go to the bank and say i've got 10 million debt and i've got you know i'm just going to print more money quickly can i um, here's a bit more can i borrow some more it's like it's just illogical so Bitcoin insight is restricted to those who need to know. All your models will be destroyed. The cure for economic ill is the orange pill. B for Bitcoin, not against fiat. Bitcoin is for everybody. And that's why I'm not against fiat. I use fiat every single day. We're here to use fiat also. But Bitcoin is for everyone. Learn to think Bitcoin. You don't change Bitcoin. It changes you. Laser eyes protect you from endless lies. Respect Bitcoin or it will make a clown out of you. Those who don't criticize, those who don't criticize Bitcoin. You'll never be done learning about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the only game in the casino where we can all win. Do not sell your Bitcoin. Spread the Bitcoin with love and retweet if you enjoyed this. I freaking love this, Vivek. I will definitely retweet it for you, man. Shout out to you, bro. The last thing that I want to show you before I move on to my charts is this video from US congressman that is going to end the Fed after reading the Bitcoin standard. It is going to happen. ...of this government. And I, and I was actually listening to an audio book by Saifedean Amus uh, called The Bitcoin Standard. And... I'll, I'll warn anybody who wants to listen to that book, the first 80% of it is not about Bitcoin. It's about money. 
and what is money, which I think is important to understanding Federal Reserve and also, but he, he has to lay that down so he can explain what Bitcoin is because you can't assume everybody knows what money was. And frankly, I learned some things or picked up some vocabulary that I didn't have about it there. And I was listening to that tape and I'm like, it is time, it is way past time to reintroduce a bill to end the Federal Reserve. And so I put it in the hopper and I thought, man, I may be the only one. Maybe I'll get two or three co-sponsors, but I don't care. This needs to be done. I hope you enjoy what he's about to tell you because it came as a surprise, not only to him, but to a number of us also. And that's why earlier on in my video, I actually said to you, the Congress are shifting towards favoriting, a favorable towards crypto. Let's hear what U.S. Congressman has to say about that. I got two dozen co-sponsors. So we, the number of co-sponsors of the bill to end the Federal Reserve in 10 years has gone up 10x. Uh, the bill to end the Federal Reserve within the next 10 years. But between now and that point, they are going to more than double their money printing. And this is why right now is the biggest, and this is why right now is the biggest moment in history to become financially free by buying yourself some Bitcoin using my links down below. Go ahead, take it off your, take it off the exchanges and go ahead and put it into your wonderful Ledger Nano X or whatever Ledger you actually have or whatever hardware crypto wallet you have, but that is crucial and critical. There is a link right down at the bottom of my description for you for a Ledger Nano X, and you can go ahead and get yourself a discount plus VPN, NordVPN, and you can get yourself a discount. Let's go and have a look at the last little um, things on the charts that I wanna share with you before I go anywhere, because right now it is very indifferent, okay? We might be breaking the ribbon, but like I said to you on my video the other day, we broke the ribbon here, we pulled back up. We broke the ribbon, we pulled back up. We broke the ribbon, we pulled back up. We found support, we faked out, we pulled back down. It's okay, it is okay. Right now, we are really just trading between the zone on the previous, uh, under the previous all time high recently. So here we are at the moment. Even if we had to come all the way back down to 59,000, why should you be worried? That would be another 10% another down. My word, I would accumulate. However, what I do want to say to you is that our RSI is ridiculously oversold. Our EMA ribbons, are it's, over, it's overextended to the downside. The MACD is pulled hard to the downside. The PMO is pulled hard to the downside. And you can see that the manipulation has been happening all the way since here. However, I have also said to you on a number of my charts, okay, that this could have essentially been what this pattern could have ended up looking like from the cup here, the handle, okay. But the handle didn't happen down here, didn't happen like this. So I'm very grateful because that would have been a very strong pullback there. That would have been an insane potential from there to the, from there, that would have been a 32%, which is Bitcoin's normal pullbacks uh, in bull markets. However, we really only have pullback, how much? Already 25%, which is still pretty decent. We have a inverse head and shoulders. Shoulder one, so the left shoulder, the head and the right shoulder busy forming right now. You should not be shitting yourself. Really, you should not be shitting yourself. Not only that, Ethereum is also hanging on a cliff here with its doji. And for me, it's also oversold on its indicators. It is also going to, in the next day or two, by probably Monday or Tuesday, get its next buy signal move. It's probably gonna push us through a breakthrough up here. I'd like to share with you that Ethereum is now officially created a bottom, a new higher low and a new higher high after this zone right here. Um, it hasn't broken out of that top. 
Ethereum is getting ready to punch through. Not only that, but the market dominance on BTC, as I have been saying to you, would have hit a sell in this area. I see this because I trade all the time. I use these things all the time, these tools. I can see what's going on. So if you enjoy this and want to make money with me, then make sure to come and hit my channel um, in appreciation. So cool, we're coming down there at the moment on the BTC dominance. This is the crypto market cap excluding BTC. So this is including Ethereum. Also a shoulder, a head and a shoulder already unfolding. Indicators are all oversold. We broke out, we found, we're finding support here. And if really I had to draw this, redraw this pattern for you, very ironically, look at that over there. It's almost somewhat like a falling wedge type of pattern. So yes, we broke that level there. Yes, we broke that level there, but that is a falling wedge pattern. Yeah, okay, look at that falling wedge. It's a bit, bit of a, an extended, I mean, that, that was the bottom. It broke up and it's pulled like 75% of this move. So make no mistake, the energy that is about to come in here and is probably being led by Ethereum is going to be massive. That's why I believe uh, at the same time on the crypto total two, there's also a shoulder ahead and a shoulder and higher lows busy unfolding. So I don't know about you, but we are going to make money and you will make money with me if you are subscribed to my channel down below and you can make the money with me. Yes, I got stopped out of a few of my trades. You know, shit does happen. Sometimes you just gotta be patient. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, show some love. See you on the next one, you blessed souls. Thank you for being here with me and take care. See you later.